watching marriage and did, and then when you when you get married you get married to any old body just for, so you could like Portia like that is not a flex to me that is a scammer I told you so but People magazine is reporting that Portia Williams has filed a divorce after only 15 months of being married to Simon Gobadia so it seems like Portia Williams might be in some serious trouble because of her husband's shady business. Things are heating up, and it's been less than two years since Portia and Simon tied the knot. But Simon is now exposed as a fraudster and a scam artist. Rumor has it that the authorities believe Portia knew about it and tried to cover it up. Hold on to your wigs and brace yourself because Simon is facing deportation and a permanent ban. As for Portia... Well, she's likely stuck in this mess for a long time. Apparently, Simon had some issues way back in 19, got deported, and then sneaked back into the U.S. using a fake name. When he tried to get citizenship, all his lies came crashing down. So what's in it for Portia? Well, I'm about to reveal all the deets right here. So make sure to stay until the end of this video. Actually, because he had DM'd me. That's what I think. Now, y'all tell me if he's telling y'all something different, okay? Okay, as mentioned, word on the street is that Portia might be caught up in some serious trouble because the police believe she helped her husband, Simon, hide his crimes. It's a lot to handle, and many people aren't feeling sorry for her since they warned her about Simon being a major red flag. And guess what? Simon's ex-wife, Fallon Gubadia, who used to be pals with Portia, is finding all this messy drama quite interesting. Now, in case you haven't been keeping up, let me spill the tea for you. Just a few months before Portia joined the show, she broke up with her ex, Dennis McKinley, because he cheated. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Portia and Simon first met while Simon was still married to Fallon. Fallon, known as a socialite in Atlanta, joined the show in 2020. And she and Simon were like a power couple with fancy cars and private jets. According to Fallon, Simon pressured her to join the show for spiritual reasons, though it's quite puzzling as Real Housewives isn't obviously associated with spiritual well-being. Things got suspicious when Fallon and Simon secretly split a month after the show premiered, but Simon filed for divorce, withdrew it, and filed again within a week. Fallon continued to deny rumors of their split until she couldn't hide the truth any longer. Simon confirmed the divorce on Instagram, and shortly after, Portia wasted no time in sliding into his DMs to offer support. She claims she heard rumors of Fallon cheating, but it's odd she didn't reach out to her friend first. My relationship with Portia started after my ex-wife and I announced that we were getting divorced. Portia reached out in my DM and expressed that she was sorry to hear that. They went public with their relationship less than three weeks after Simon and Fallon announced their divorce. Portia declared her love, saying, Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night, tuning out all negative energy and only focusing on positive wishes. He makes me so happy, and to me, that is what matters most. She further added, Fallon and I are not friends, and Simon's divorce has been settled. Our relationship is a positive, loving step forward in everybody's lives. But this gets really interesting when you realize that Fallon was introduced on the show as Portia's friend. But Portia didn't seem to care about that. Well, not only were they dating, but they were also engaged at the time she announced their relationship. Now, getting engaged after just one month is crazy, but getting engaged to a man who was married to your friend a month ago is just mind-blowing. And guess what? He was still legally married to Fallon when this happened. Fans weren't the only ones feeling a certain way. Portia's fellow housewife, Marlo Hampton, didn't think the relationship was real either. She spilled her thoughts in an Instagram live session. I don't think it's real. You know, y'all know I done hung with Portia. Portia's like, fine. I don't think that shit ain't real. Despite warnings from fans about Simon's trustworthiness, Portia went ahead and married him in November 2022. They had two lavish ceremonies in Nigeria and the U.S., it's been a year and a half, and things seem so good that Portia revealed they were actively trying for a baby. Simon's sixth child and Portia's second. She even announced her return to the Real Housewives, now using her new married name, Portia Gubadia. But hold on, recent revelations about her husband might make her rethink her decision to come back to the show. 
The things coming out about him are even worse than him hooking up with his wife's friend. In case you missed the tea, there's a whole messy situation with the U.S. government that's basically putting Simon on the fast track to getting kicked out of the country. Turns out he allegedly got his temporary residency permit through some shady dealings. This whole thing traces back to the 80s, and Sir Simon probably thought he dodged a bullet. But nope, Uncle Sam was not having it. They hit him with a laundry list of charges that make getting that U.S. citizenship seem like a distant dream. Court documents spilled the tea on his sketchy past. Turns out he tried to become a naturalized citizen more times than he can count, even after being told why he kept getting denied, his history of fraud, and playing fast and loose with identities. The paperwork revealed Simon's early days in the States. He first landed on U.S. soil in August 1982 on a visitor's visa. Trouble started brewing when he overstayed, trying to extend his stay legally, but Uncle Sam shut that down. Facing the looming threat of deportation, he decided to bounce voluntarily, packed his bags and left in December 1985, about three and a half years post-visa expiration. But guess who couldn't resist the allure of the U.S.? Yep, Simon. He made a comeback just six months later with another visitor's visa, this time with a six-month validity. History repeated itself. He overstayed again, but this time things took a darker turn. Simon got nabbed for bank and credit fraud, landing himself in hot water with the feds. He didn't deny it, owned up to the charges, and pleaded guilty. You'd think someone in Simon's shoes would lay low, right? Wrong. In January 1989, he's in cuffs again, this time for unauthorized use of a vehicle. Fast forward to May 19, 1990, and guess who's back again in trouble? Mr. Simon, caught up on fraud charges. I mean, seriously, was Trouble his middle name? Having an immigration file as thick as a phone book didn't stop him from diving headfirst into felonies. Immigration came knocking after his fraud fiasco in May 1990. But did that deter Mr. Simon from dabbling in more shady deals? Not a chance. Just six months later in January 1991, he was back at it again, pulling off another credit card scam. And to top it off, in April 1991, an immigration judge ordered his deportation. By March 1992, he was physically removed and deported from the U.S. But here's the kicker. Way back in 88, sneaky old Mr. Simon switched up his identity, slipped into the Special Agricultural Worker Program under a different name. He conveniently left out his rap sheet when applying and snagged himself a temporary resident permit, which upgraded to permanent resident status. He got his shiny permanent residency card in April 1992, just three weeks after his other identity got the boot. But in case you thought he learned his lesson, in December 2016, he threw his hat in the ring for naturalization. The government said a hard no, citing the unlawfully obtained temporary resident status. This man is relentless. In December 2020, he took another swing at it, failing at another application for naturalization made it all the way to the interview stage, but the government still said no because of his dodgy permanent residency status. Still, Mr. Persistent Simon didn't throw in the towel. In October 2022, just a month before tying the knot with Portia, he requested a hearing to challenge the naturalization denial. Surprise, surprise, the government stuck to its guns, doubling down on the decision, yet he still didn't take no for an answer. Come March 2023, he was back at it again, filing yet another plea to overturn the denial and grant him naturalization. But once again, the answer was a resounding no. Simon should have seen this train wreck coming, with chance after chance to let it go. And like Simon's mess wasn't enough drama, Portia is taking it really hard. The word on the street says she's absolutely devastated by the whole situation. Plus, the Real Housewives are getting ready for another season, and I'm sure she doesn't want this drama to give the other ladies extra ammo to take shots at her. But it seems there's more for her to worry about. According to an insider, the government has allegedly opened up an investigation into the situation. Portia was reportedly invited in by the police, and the insider claims they are working with immigration services regarding Simon's double life and faking his identity. Another source suggests that authorities believe Portia knew about her husband's fake identities and has been helping cover it up instead of reporting it as a responsible citizen. But what do you think about this? Is Portia going to be okay? Or is she getting into serious trouble? Share your thoughts in the comments. 
And while we're waiting for more updates, be sure to watch our other videos for more celebrity drama.